The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. A man came sent by God. His name was John. He came as a witness, as a witness to speak for the light, so that everyone might believe through him. He was not the light, only a witness to speak for that light. This is how John appeared as a witness. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, who are you? He not only declared, but he declared quite openly, I am not the Christ. Well then, they asked, are you Elijah? I am not, he said. Are you the prophet? He answered, no. So they said to him, who are you? We must take back an answer to those who sent us. What have you to say about yourself? So John said, I am as Isaiah prophesied, a voice that cries in the wilderness, make a straight way for the Lord. Now this man had been sent by the Pharisees and they put this further question to him. Why are you baptizing if you are not the Christ and not Elijah and not the prophet? John replied, I baptize with water, but there stands among you, unknown to you, the one who is coming after me, and I am not fit to undo his sandal strap. This happened at Bethany on the far side of the Jordan where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Dear sisters and brothers, today, the Sunday that is called Gaudate Sunday, the Latin word Gaudate means joy, happiness. <coughs> that is why we have a pink candle from purple to pink. And oftentimes this pink, you know, when you see the symbol for women is always pink color for men blue. So presumably women normally have been associated with pink which means women must be happier than men. All the women are very happy now. Huh? Women are happy, supposedly. Huh? <coughs> so one day, I was, I had a, somebody had given me a pink t-shirt. So I was wearing it in college. So all these guys, my, my compatriots look at me very weirdly, very oddly, giving a snigger. Hey, what man, what man, what are you looking at me? Hey, you're wearing pink. La. Ladies' color, <clears throat> I couldn't be bothered. I continue wearing some of the men here also in pink. <coughs> so, pink is supposed to be joy, happiness. So, is your joy right now, is your joy one of advent? The first reading, Isaiah, tells about mend the brokenhearted. You know, when a girl and a boy are in love, Afterwards, the girl will say, he broke my heart, you know. Or the boy will say, she broke my heart. <clears throat> it is not in such love relationship that we break each other's heart. My dear sisters and brothers, we break many people's heart every single day. We break our mother's heart, father's heart, children's heart, parents' heart, grandmother, grandfather, our friends, our relatives, the people around us whom we meet <coughs> often. With our words, the words we have used have hurt so many people. All this has to be mend. We have to mend all this brokenness. Because of the words that we have used, we have offended so many people. Two days ago, I was in PD for confessions and this young girl came to me and said, <coughs> she started crying. See what happened. Father, I was very rude to my grandmother <coughs> and today she's gone. So dear sisters and brothers, there are many people we have wounded. 
and how can you experience joy when you have pained others consciously or subconsciously or unconsciously we have hurt many people by the words we use and today the lord is calling us to be happy <laughs> so it is good that we make amendments mend the broken hearted the hearts we have broken not just our boyfriend or girlfriend and the second reading thessalonians and paul tells the thessalonians be happy be happy pray constantly without ceasing a person who prays constantly will be happy a person who is happy will be able to pray easily if you are burdened if you are unhappy can you pray a person who prays will be happy a person who is happy will pray sadly most of us don't pray if you are praying it will be so easy you will be full of joy sadly we don't pray st paul tells us to pray unceasingly and you will be happy so simple so simple why your life there is no joy do you pray not the our father and hail mary which we rattle away and we finish it pray every day so simple prayer the moment we think prayer is hard life is going to be hard and so isaiah says about mending the broken hearted st paul tells us pray constantly be happy and the gospel the great figure john the baptist first people ask him who are you are you the prophet are you elijah are you one who has sent the messiah he says no i am not he could have said i am i am the one he was truthful about himself you want to be happy be truthful when you live in lies how can you be happy be truthful be truthful and honest and st john the baptist at the end of the gospel tells i am unfit to undo his sandals humility humbleness so humble if you want to be happy be humble proud people you seldom see them very happy because they are arrogant you want to be happy be humble simple the solutions are very simple to be happy but we don't know <clears throat> now aristotle the great philosopher apart from plato and socrates aristotle said the great greek philosophers he said you can enjoy you can achieve happiness right now you can be happy right now provided you follow this two be virtuous and be a person of morality you be mor morally good be virtuous hold to all the virtues and you be moral uphold morality and you will be happy if people are immoral do you think you can be happy because you are doing something at the back which is not right upright and virtuous you are happy you are happy before god you are happy before others and the next one saint augustine the great doctor of the church saint augustine said you cannot have full happiness here full happiness is when you see god face to face in the afterlife so augustine socrates uh, sorry aristotle said you can enjoy happiness here provided you do do this do these two things Augustine said full happiness only with god then came along st thomas aquinas another great doctor of the church st thomas aquinas said you can enjoy happiness here right now no need to suffer be happy and you relish that happiness here and this happiness will be doubled will be tripled will be much much bigger when you are up there with him see how beautiful so he is telling us be happy here 
and your happiness will be double tripled and much much more when you are with god so dear sisters and brothers are we happy <clears throat> now let me tell you there was this man who invited his friends quite a rich man <clears throat> to a party in his house so when they walked into the house they saw him dancing dancing away wow he's very happy 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 going on <clears throat> then everyone came in and they all started also seeing him dancing they so contagious everyone also started dancing <clears throat> and then someone was so a few of them were so puzzled and hesitatingly this guy went up to this guy the the, the host of the party and asked him sir can i know why are you dancing and are you so happy you know last night my mercedes benz got wrecked nasty accident and it's damaged terribly this guy said must be thinking in his mind this fellow must be lunatic or what mercedes benz got wrecked and he's dancing and singing and enjoying and having a party and that guy said your mercedes got wrecked and you're dancing and partying you know what the driver is alive and i am the driver if the mercedes goes i can buy another mercedes maybe two three mercedeses but if my life is gone finished for that matter even my thumb is gone finished can you get back this thumb gone so i am celebrating dear sisters and brothers celebrate your blessings and you will be happy father what are my blessings every single breath you take is a blessing how many blessings how many breaths have you taken can you count from the day you were born until now can you count the blessings the many goodness that you have got right now can you count the blessings and yet we whine we we get complain so much and we are trouble so much we are unhappy so many things to celebrate so many things to be happy about you know some people you, when you see them you get so afraid you know how they look even in the church any, anywhere else when there's a joke being cracked everyone is laughing this fella big joke la big joke Hey, life is so simple no be happy don't worry be happy they say why are you so troubled all the time uh, maybe husband and wife sitting next to each other or mother and children parents can i ask you for a favor look at the other person next to you and say you are good looking you are beautiful you are wonderful say 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 please say pet somebody somebody around next to you say wonderful some of you you know some of you <laughs> so shy <laughs> hey come on man you are alive you are alive that is celebration you know you are alive and that is blessing some of you cannot <clears throat> somebody tells you hey you are good <laughs> no there are among you i can see from here <laughs> what's the problem and outside there we make a lot of noise you know outside there we are not we are not aware that we are alive the gift that god has given us this life is from him and so dear sisters and brothers enjoy this life as sena sena st thomas aquinas said right now right now and that is what he is calling you to celebrate life there is no way to happiness there is no way to happiness because happiness is the way so simple no oh father i am having stomach ache i am having problems even then you can be happy because you pray without ceasing and happiness will be yours try this magic and see what happens and dear sisters and brothers happiness is not what life gives 
Happiness is what you take to life. Happiness is not what life gives, but what you take to life. So you have to be zealous, you have to be full of zest, you have to be full of energy, you have to be full of vibrance, you have to be so energetic that you are able to radiate these vibrations of love, of joy, of peace. Because you are in the church and you are coming to see him, you are coming to receive him. And how can you be otherwise? How can he be otherwise? Oh, he said that something bad. She said something bad. Don't let them condition your happiness. Your happiness is yours because he is with you. You know, if a room, if a house, the room is so full of darkness, what do you do? The room is filled with so much of darkness. You go into the room, you take a bucket and you take all the darkness away. You throw the darkness out. Can you take the darkness out? Can you? Cannot. What do you do? You open the window or you open the doors to usher in the light. When the light comes in, you dispel the darkness. Or in the night, you switch on the light. Likewise, when you have darkness inside here, when this heart is full of darkness, do you think you can be happy? <laughs> you have to bring the light inside. St. John the Baptist said, He is the light. Bring the light inside and you will dispel the darkness so easy. But do you bring Jesus inside or do you bring something else inside? So when you bring Jesus inside, this darkness will just be removed. Don't try to take away the darkness. You cannot. You cannot take away the darkness. You bring in the Lord. You bring in the light and you will dispel the darkness. So dear sisters and brothers, what are we waiting for? Today is the day of joy and a greater joy is awaiting us at Christmas. We pray for this grace that we will always be happy. Happiness is not so much just going around, <laughs> I'm very happy. Happiness is inside here. And that happiness, you can just give to everyone else. So let us pray for this grace to ask God to lighten us, to brighten us, so that you and I can radiate that joy to all around us. You are that light. You are that joy. Be happy all times. He loves you. He's a God of joy. He's a God of peace. Amen.